want to welcome you all here today um, on behalf of the organisers. Um, I'm Betty Higgs and I, at the moment I'm Interim Vice President for Teaching and Learning, so welcoming um, a seminar like this very much. Um, I'm also on the board of the National Forum, so um, the organisers just asked me to say a couple of words about the National Forum. Some of you may know um, the National Forum for the Enhancement of Teaching and Learning in Higher Education was set up about a year and a half ago. And um, the, the, there is a board representative of the HEA, of the universities, of the IOTs, um, uh, and, and others in the sector. And um, the board ha um, has come up with certain principles and values, but then there is an operational team who are putting this into place. And one of the first things they did was to put out a call for a, a national seminar series. And um, Darius and colleagues, uh, Darius Whelan and colleagues, put in a proposal to have this uh, uh, seminar workshop and was successful. And um, <clears throat> we're delighted in UCC that, in fact, 15 of our proposals were successful. So we've been running a series of seminars uh, funded and sponsored and supported by the National Forum. So just a couple of slides here that, um, if I can get the next one up. Um, <clears throat> just a couple of slides on the vision of the National Forum. Um, uh, as you see, inspiring, promoting, enabling uh, teaching staff and students in higher education. And the theme that um, has been chosen as what we call an enhancement theme uh, for this year and uh, the, the coming 12 months is transitioning. So um, initially uh, people thought, okay, that means coming from second level into third level. Um, but broadening that out, there are many things that we do in higher education that are considered transitioning. So it could be students transitioning into postgraduate but it, it also includes higher education transitioning into a digital culture. And this is where uh, Darius Whelan's proposal um, won out, in that this is, we're thinking about how do we transition into a digital culture and um, all, all that's involved in that, and trying to help and enable and promote uh, the teaching staff and students too. Um, so the National Forum is funded by the Higher Education Authority. Um, it, is, it has substantial funding uh, for which we here can apply um, in the future. There are going to be calls uh, for proposals on the basis of transitions. Okay. The model is going to be collaborative, but of course... That, that always brings up that tension between collaboration and co competition. Um, but having something that's inter-institutional, international, such as this seminar, is exactly the sort of thing that the forum wants. <coughs> and then the forum has this, this sort of diagram as a snapshot of, of the different parts to the forum's work. For example, one of the parts is building a, a digital roadmap or producing a roadmap for building digital capacity um, in, in, in Ireland. And this seminar uh, fits into that very well. Um, so I, I, I've already uh, mentioned in some of these transitions, uh, so transitioning, for example, into the, into the workplace, into employment, etc. So I don't want to take up uh, valuable time here, so I just want to say that this seminar is of particular importance. Now, Darius and colleagues Louise have, have given us uh, seminars or shorter seminars over the past 10 years, trying to keep us up to date with this uh, digital copyright. And they've been very valuable, but it's a fast changing area. And we're never quite sure when we're putting up a presentation onto Blackboard or um, if the students are downloading it, we're never quite sure, um, are, are we in breach of anything? Um, and then what happens when 
someone uh, wants you to put this presentation and do it on a webinar, or they want to put it on YouTube, or there are people within the, um, the piece of video or whatever that maybe haven't given permission. So all of these areas are things that we're dealing with more and more. And of course then there is the area of open educational resources versus intellectual property. You know, these tensions are there. And um, I think we'll touch on some of that today. Um, because we're moving now just from maybe the small group in the classroom, we're moving to online resources, which could be global. We, we could be dealing here with things that are worth hundreds of thousands of euro to a, an institution, um, that could be reaching out globally. And so we have to be very careful in this, um, as, as some of you have mentioned, intellectual property, uh, open educational resources. So I want to thank the organisers, um, Darius, Louise, and particularly welcome the, the uh, guest speakers. Um, so Jason uh, from JISC Legal, um, a fantastic, uh, JISC and JISC Legal, fantastic uh, resources and help um, in, in, in the work they do. And I know the National Forum um, have been uh, talking to JISC Legal and, uh, you know, benefiting from some of their resources. And then um, Owen from Trinity College Dublin, you're welcome to come and share your expertise with us. So if I pass over now to Darius, so thank you very much. Uh, thanks a lot, Betty. And uh, Betty actually encouraged me to apply for funding for this uh, forum. So I'm glad that uh, that, uh, that came to fruition. So. Um, uh, I'm just going to give a few background, uh, pieces of background information just for a few minutes and then we'll move on to the substance. Uh, firstly, just briefly to mention that here in the Faculty of Law we have a number of activities related to copyright and I, I mentioned them there. Uh, all of these slides, by the way, we will um, make available on SlideShare or whatever after the event. Um, but uh, for example, we run an LLM in intellectual property and e-law and, and I teach uh, on, on that and so does Louise and so does Steve Headley and so does Mae McDonough and so on. So there are a lot of us with interest in copyright and it's, it's great to have people to bounce um, ideas off and uh, to share information with. Uh, we've also recently started a postgraduate certificate in law and technology for those who are interested in this area. We are the Irish affiliate of the Creative Commons movement as well and that gives us access to a, a global network of people who are interested in uh, the Creative Commons movement, obviously, but also copyright law generally. Um, so do bear in mind that this seminar is being videoed and is also being live streamed. So in consent terms, uh, we're, uh, you, you need to be notified of that, obviously. Um, if, you, if you make a contribution from the floor, uh, it will be videoed. Um, there's a Twitter hashtag uh, for those who are interested, and that's uh, also on the sheets which have been given, and there's also Wi-Fi. Is it working, by the way? Has it? Yeah, great. Um, uh, also, there might be some exams in the building, so when we're moving to coffee, uh, it's unlikely that they, I think they only use this building for uh, extra, as an extra venue, but just in case, uh, just uh, keep the noise down uh, you're, uh, when you're moving along the corridors. And I also want to thank Pat here uh, for technical support, Noreen Delay for event organization, and our student helps, uh, Damien Clifford and um, Emerald DeLove. Um, in this seminar, when we talk about digital teaching and learning uh, in the title, um, we are going to be focusing on teaching and learning rather than research. There are uh, enormous copyright uh, issues regarding research, which may differ from uh, the teaching context. So let's just bear that in mind. We only actually have um, three hours, um, so we can't address everything. Um, but I would emphasize that digital teaching learning is broadly defined, we're broadly defining it, to include obviously a 100% online course, but also a blended course where there might be some online elements and some traditionally delivered elements. And in fact, digital issues arise for nearly every module nowadays. Um, so the, the, the word digital is in the title, and we will be emphasizing digital aspects of teaching. 
Uh, but there will also be reference to traditional issues as well, issues for traditional teaching as well. Uh, also, standard kind of disclaimer that obviously we can't answer all questions and we, we're not providing legal advice, even though we're legally uh, trained, we're not providing binding legal advice. And we will actually, there will be disagreement amongst copyright lawyers about aspects of copyright law. So if you're looking for short answers, you won't necessarily uh, get them either from us or from your, your friendly neighborhood lawyer either. Um, the learning outcomes were on the uh, documentation, um, so I won't uh, read through them fully, but I just wanted to show that um, th 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 there are varied learning outcomes and, and that um, th th what I mean is the learning outcomes of this seminar. So that, for example, uh, one of the things we're, we want to explain to you is how to find material which can be used safely. Um, so that's, that's quite different from teaching you the law, so to speak, or explaining the law to you. Uh, so I will talk briefly about how, how to find Creative Commons images, for example, which are generally relatively safe. Um, uh, also, um, another of the aims which you might not think of is that in learning about copyright law, you, you, one, one of the uses of that is that you can actually explain it to your students as well. Um, because they need to be aware of it just as much as you need to be aware of it in your capacity as, as a teacher, if that is your role. The schedule, we didn't distribute a schedule because uh, I foolishly thought this is going to be a low-key seminar and it won't take much work given that it's exam time, but it snowballed. Uh, but, uh, so uh, here is the seminar if you want to jot it down if you're obsessed about time. Uh, <laughs> will we stick to this? We'll see. But uh, Louise is going to speak from... 2.15-ish, uh, we, and we'll allow time for Q&A, uh, won't you? <laughs> uh, then I will speak on sub sub some substantive issues as opposed to these kind of housekeeping issues at 2.50. We will then be distributing a task which I have waiting under the table there, which you will discuss amongst yourselves. We'll break in, you into informal groups. You, you will choose yourself uh, the size of the groups. Um, and. Uh, it's just to practice what we're supposed to be preaching uh, in terms of active engagement and active learning and so on. Um, so the task con consists of a kind of a hypothetical involving Mary. Uh, I, I was very imaginative in coming up with the name. And Mary has some issues regarding copyright law in her teaching. And I think you will learn from discussing it amongst yourselves and then seeing what our approach is to the answers to the questions. Then we have coffee and tea in this building, followed by Owen, uh, who will emphasize uh, the reform aspects of uh, copyright law because Owen chaired the Copyright Review Committee. And then Jason, who will give us the uh, UK perspective. Uh, so w without further ado, then I'll, I'll hand over to Louise, who comes next. And I'll see, are the slides waiting? Uh, has anybody